that day that you're finally sentenced, do you remember that day? Could mm -hmm. you sleep the night before? No, I was nervous. I was nervous, man. I mean, my experience in LA County Jail was horrible. Um, you know, 99% 99, 99 of the black people in the county jail are affiliated. I wasn't affiliated. So I had to watch a lot of, I got, you know, I got punked for a lot of my shit because I was outnumbered. Um, I watched a lot of gang riots, Bloods and Crips. Um, so leaning up to it, I didn't get no sleep. Um, the night before, you know, I thought, you know, praying to God, like something would happen, but that didn't help. That didn't happen. It happened, man. It happened. And I remember it like it was yesterday. I was just worried. And uh, I was worried, man. Like, what's going to happen? And why? Where's God at? And all this. Once you're sentenced, are you taken right away to prison? Where are you taken? After it happened, um, you know, you got to wait a while to catch the chain. It's, I think it takes about um, one to three months. I think I waited two. You got to wait for someone, a prison to endorse you. Um, so I waited for that to happen. Um, I think uh, Kern County endorsed me and I went to reception. Um, and I, that was it, man. I was like on the chain, going to jail. I mean, going to prison, like for graffiti. Uh, a lot of people didn't believe I was in there for graffiti. A lot of people think I'm a rapist, like think I'm a pedophile. I'm like, nah, dude, I'm in here for graffiti. And it's a scary, it's a scary situation though, because and you know, people can jump you and kill you in there if they really believe that you're something that you're not. But you know, by the grace of God. Um, they really they believed that I did graffiti, especially when I got the reception. Reception was um was intense because you have the blacks and the and the, and the, I don't know like the Serenios and Southsiders are not don't really get along, and then that they got them in the same reception dorm, and they're not really supposed to like interact like that. But when I get the reception. Shit, man, like, uh, I got like 10, 10 Serenios and Southsiders run, run up on me. Not because they they want to fuck me up, because they know me from the streets, man. They know me from the fucking streets. Uh, I got some MIWs, J2Hs. Um, I know some other crews, some guys, some, they ran up on me like, dude, why are you here? Like, I got bust for graffiti. Like, what? And I got all these guys around me. You got the blacks trying to figure out what's going on. You got the Serrano, Southsiders. Like, what the fuck? Um, and I gained the respect of all the Serrano's and Southsiders in that reception dorm because I did graffiti. Every night I was drawn for the Serrano's and the Southsiders. Every night for their, their daughters, their kids, their girlfriends, their moms. Every night. So when some shit did go, go down, um, they didn't lay a hand on me, man. And if, I don't know what if, if I don't know what to call that, but I just tell you that graffiti transcends those color lines, man. Graffiti, if you done it and you in it, people respect it, and that shit graffiti showed me that when I got to prison that. A lot of that shit that goes on in prison with the racism is just politics. Because if it was really real, if it was really on some racist shit, I would have they would have did something to me. But seeing my homies that are Southsiders and Serranos risk their neck to talk to me and ask me for drawings, that says a lot, man. 